Are you ready to get some crazy fast handles? Coach Jesse Mitchell, Get Handles. Today I'm going to show you how to do exactly that. Make sure you click that subscribe button so you can catch the newest videos though. Now, let's talk about five ways to get faster handles. The first thing you want to do is work on dribble moves that you've already got, take that move, and work on making that move quicker because you'll be able to find a new level of speed with that move a lot more quickly versus if you're trying to do it with a completely new move. And then do it at knee height or lower. So it's a real simple tweak that you can do to put into your training and also use it as a move. So in game situations, whether you're dribbling it at that height or higher, you'll start to be able to do it a lot quicker because if you're doing it low, it forces you to be faster, right? An example would be doing like an in and out dribble. If I do it down here by my knee height, that's forcing me to make that whole motion in the air faster versus if I do it up here, I can kind of go through the motion slow. Yeah, I can do it faster, but it's not gonna be as fast as if I'm trying to do it way down here, right? I really have to be efficient with that movement and I gotta snap that wrist quick, I gotta move the arm quick, all that has to happen and I have to get control of the basketball quick. So all that gets sped up just by bringing it down lower. Now another example could be doing the legs behind the back. Just by doing it down low here, that's gonna make it faster than doing it up high. That's also gonna help though when you do do your dribbles higher, being able to do those quicker because once you get low and comfortable with it down here, doing it up high and upping the speed is gonna feel a lot more easy, a lot more natural. All right, next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is work on strengthening your fingers, but also getting your fingers more comfortable moving quickly. So it sounds like sort of a weird thing of trying to move the fingers fast, right? There's a drill called squeeze the banana where you're squeezing the basketball out of your hands like this, okay? So basically, you're squeezing your hands so hard that the ball just kind of squeezes out, right? Well, what you wanna do is do that as a dribble back and forth. You can do this with one hand, okay, just like this, or you can do it back and forth like crossovers, okay? So that's one thing you can do. The next thing you wanna to try to do, and I'm gonna link for that, this video in the top right hand corner of the screen, but it's called the Nautic Dribbles. There's an old street ball crew I used to love watching where they would do these really little dribbles like this. And it almost looks like the basketball's rolling, but if you listen, you can hear it barely bouncing. Okay, to do that, what you wanna do is, it's like a crossover, so you don't want it to be up and down like this with two hands. You're not tapping it up and down. You wanna work on doing it back and forth, side to side, and gradually get it lower and closer together so your hands are barely far apart, right? They're right here, not way out here. And you're basically gonna be doing almost in between that squeeze thing that I was just showing you, but there's a little bit more like a curling motion with your fingers. Your thumb still kind of comes in, but the fingers kind of curl up more. And this is gonna help strengthen the fingers a lot by doing these two drills, okay? Going back and forth, just trying to get it lower and lower and lower, hands closer together. One other thing you can do is work on comboing, doing one hand Vs into a crossover, but try to do it real low. This will help you get more of a complex combo type thing down, doing that more quickly, okay? Back and forth just like this, okay? And then, you know, you can work on doing in and outs down here. Again, like we talked about doing your dribbles low, right? This is gonna help take it next level by doing it super low, trying to get an ankle height. And once you get better and better at that, that's gonna help improve your speed even up here with your dribbles because now your hands are stronger. You can snap them quicker and you have better control over the basketball the second it comes in your hands. Because when you're doing these dribbles down here this low and trying to get control over the basketball quickly, you have to really get control instantly every time the ball comes in your hand because you have to push it right back, right? Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, you might be wondering, Coach, why are you on the ground? Why is there no basketball? I thought I'm trying to learn how to dribble faster in this video. This is actually gonna help you by strengthening your muscles. One thing you wanna keep in mind is with pound dribbling, and that's something we're gonna cover later in the video, but pound dribbling is a basically taking power and putting into your dribbles. And if you know what power is, it's a combination of speed and strength. It's your ability to move strong and fast at the same time. So you wanna be able to develop more strength, so now you have more strength that you can apply quickly. This is an exercise, it's a cobra push-up. And the reason we're gonna do this is it's gonna mimic the dribble motion, okay? So a normal push-up, we would be in this position here, right? And we would be working on pushing more forward. We wanna mimic more of that dribble motion, which is more downward. What we're gonna do is, 
We're just gonna change the positioning. I'm arching my back more, and that's gonna position my chest more like this, so now I'm pushing down like a dribble motion. So we can get stronger in that motion, and you can just do this, repping this out. But one thing you could do to take it next level then to make it more specific for power is to do them quick up, quick up. Okay, that's gonna help develop more power in your arms. So now when you snap that dribble down, you can put a lot more force into it. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is super overlooked in developing your ball handling speed and just your ball handling period. And it's to work on it, we're gonna be using some sort of street ball type stuff. Now you might be wondering, coach, why are you teaching me street ball stuff? I can't do this in a real basketball game. My coach will put me on the bench for it. The reason we're gonna do this, think about it as more like a drill. We're not doing this street ball type stuff to have it as an actual move you're gonna use in game. We're gonna use it as a way for developing your speed. So think of it as more like a drill. Now, if you watch the best ball handlers like Kyrie, John Wall's really good with this, pretty much all the best ball handlers, they also, on top of having the ability to pound the dribble quick and do these flow combos like we talked about so far, they had the ability to move the basketball quickly while it's in air. And that's an overlooked part of having fast handles. So what I call this is float speed. And basically what it is, is when the basketball comes into my hand from a dribble, my ability to move it quickly in air, in space, while it's in my hand. A couple things you can do to help develop this would be a wrap behind the back, okay? So an inside out wrap behind the back. This is a street ball move I've been doing for years. And what it's gonna really develop, if you notice, is your ability to move the ball in a big area. And in order to do this dribble, you gotta move it quickly, right? Now, key tip on it, when you're repping this out, you don't want to start with the basketball over here because now you're not moving it as much in air and you don't have to move it as quick when you don't have to move it as much. So you want to make sure whichever hand has the ball, you're starting with the basketball on that side and then wrapping it around. Now, if this is too hard for you, just start off with a big exaggerated in and out, okay? Really bringing it across. And then from there, you can work on doing it lower, right? Bring it by knee height. Then from there, start working on repping it doing it the full way, and then try doing that same thing, but now we're just gonna try to keep it at that knee height, right? Try not to carry the basketball, that's a big key. If you're carrying the basketball with your hand coming under it, well then it's easy to go slow. But if you're not carrying, that makes it a lot harder to keep good control over the basketball and do it quickly, okay? So of course you'd wanna do this with both hands, coming back and forth. Now this last tip is probably one of the most important ones, but before I get into it, make sure you click that like button if you found this video helpful so far, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know who you think is the fastest dribbler in the world right now. Okay, fifth thing you're gonna wanna do is work on your pound dribbles. Now, pound dribbles are really important for developing your speed, getting more power on your dribbles, and having the type of dribble where I, I always tell my players when the defender tries to steal the basketball, you want them to think that they're gonna break a finger trying to steal it so they don't even bother going for it. That's how you wanna be able to dribble the basketball when you're pounding it. Think about putting holes into the ground. Try to think about making the basketball go flat. I've talked about this in some previous videos, but if you wanna get much more in depth with it, just click the link in the top right-hand corner of the screen. I got a video there that goes really in depth, like the mindset, the way you should be thinking about your dribbling the basketball when you're pounding it, and some drills that you can work on to help you take your speed with your dribbles next level. You put that in place also with this video, you're gonna get some crazy fast handles. Now, if you really wanna take your handles to the next level, you have to have more than just dribble speed. There's footwork, you gotta have moves that you can do, and you gotta be able to do all that quickly too, not just dribble fast, you gotta move your feet quick, move them precise. If you wanna get really good at that and be able to destroy defenders, click the top link in the description down below. That's my Defender Destroyer workout. It's 100% free. Just click that link, pop in your email. I'll send that to you instantly for free. It's already helped hundreds of players. I'm sure it will help you too. Also, if you found this video helpful, make sure you check out this video and check out this one. You'll probably find those helpful as well. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more and make moves today.